the entrance antiphone. With boldness, let us approach the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your, may your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became, <laughs> and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my law. Keep me safe, 
O God, you are. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my God. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, so that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one. That the world may know that you sent me and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue hearing in our daily gospel during this sixth week, uh, seventh week of Easter from St. John's Um, 17th chapter from his last, Jesus's last discourse to the apostles at the Last Supper. In previous days, he has prayed for the apostles, for the church. And now he prays not only just for the church, but for all who will believe in Jesus through the words spoken by the apostles, by the church, that all may be one. That is the prayer and the work of Jesus, unity, that we may be one as the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are one. It's important to see this carried out in the Acts of the Apostles, how Paul was put on trial before the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin in Jerusalem. Paul is on trial before the Israelite leaders for being 
a Catholic, for being a follower of Jesus Christ. It's important to notice that when we speak, when we interact with any persons that we interact with, it's always important, as Paul knew, to know who he's speaking to, to know the audience. Paul knew that some were Sadducees and some were Pharisees, and that they together <laughs> were united against him. So their unity was not for his good, was not for the spread of the gospel. So Paul, inspired by God's grace, chose to set the two groups against each other, saying that he was a Pharisee, but that he believed in the resurrection of the dead. Pharisees did not, uh, Pharisees believed in the resurrection, but the Sadducees did not. And as they were fighting against each other, Paul was uh, rescued by the commander and taken to safety. We too are to know the people that we speak to. And as we speak to them, to speak to them really as friends, to find a way to see what unites us, what draws us closer to them, if possible, and to speak about that and to slowly draw them closer to the Lord, closer to ourselves. The more that we try to win an argument or uh, out-battle somebody with words, that's not the way to win friends. That's not the way for the gospel to flourish. So we ask for the Lord's grace that we pray for that unity, but that we work for that unity and seek to draw other persons closer to the Lord and all of us closer to each other. That all who have been entrusted with the word of the Lord may proclaim it without hesitation or fear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord amen. That as Christ's disciples who live in a culture of death, we may be effective witnesses to the gospel of life, which has been entrusted to us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer for being a Christian, that they may carry the, uh, the cross with joy and experience the consolation of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who have strayed from the church, that our example of holiness may bring them back quickly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for the living and deceased members of the Bodhi and Russ Camp families, and for our own intentions united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice and accepting the spirit, the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thank you. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. For never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. An act of spiritual communion by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray. Enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them that they may merit, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ strengthened me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.